and I will create new forecast. But starting from this 13th step. So the new computation will start at time step of 14. Okay, so yeah, let's say grid properties and then go to project, all right? And then go to additional options and then create forecast. Okay, let's say here, yeah, you will have M90 underscore forecast, which is the same name with the forecast case that I already show you, the one with the restart keyword. Okay. And yeah, I can change it to restart new, for example, and the forecast length, let's say five years for forecast step from this one. Okay, December 2009 and step length one month. And then well options, okay, to control the, yeah, the control for the producers. We just go with the default. Okay, so we just produce decline. Okay, and this is for the injector, water injector, bottom hole pressure, and the injection rate will be calculated. And this one, the production rate will be calculated. Okay, we choose bottom hole pressure as the control. Okay. Control the bottom hole pressure and the production rate as well as the injection rate will be calculated. Okay, you can also play with all of these parameters, but we will use this default setting. Okay, again, it is possible to set different control options for wells, either producer injector or gas injector. All right, and what else? Well, efficiency factor, okay. 0 0.95 or 95%. Open for cast model, okay. And after I click okay here, in the model folder, we will produce a new file, a restart file with this name, m90 underscore forecast underscore new. So let's click on okay. and the forecast model will be automatically opened. And let's just wait. Okay, so this is the forecast file, the one that we have, the one that we produce. Okay, here we have this yellow timeline. So we will not calculate again what happened before or what happened within this yellow period. If you go to the graph, we'll start zero, but if you click this one and show data since, go back to the original time, okay, you will have this already computed, okay? Without calculating it back again. And if you go to the files here, and check M90 forecast new data, you will produce this. Restart M90, the name of the file, and we put the restart at, you know, at this, at time step of 13, so that the calculation will be starting from time step 14. And we also produce schedule, new schedule, and the new schedule is here. And if we open the schedule here, this is the setting, the control for the producer as well as the injector, you see? So the bottom hole pressure for our control is set at 30. So for production, and for injection, it is set at 450, 450. And the dates, we only include five years, okay? 
So starting from 2009, we will stop at, you know, 14, 2014. And the computation will be for each one month. Okay. So that's it actually. And of course you don't need to depend significantly or depend totally on the user interface. You can also take these keywords, okay? And just put this keyword onto the master data, the original master data just like the previous case. So let me show you again. Oh yeah, by the way here, these two files are the files that we created here. You remember, right? M90 underscore forecast underscore new. This is the forecast file that we produce. And this is the schedule file that we produce. Okay. And the restart case that I showed you earlier is this one. Okay, and it's of course different with this one or oh, not this one. Okay, this, so this is what I mean. They are different. So this is the original, this is the file that is produced by the user interface after we use project and then create forecast. This is the, the file that is produced if we do the forecasting using the user interface. But as I said, you can just copy or control cut, okay, these keywords restart, and then put this on the original master data. You put that here at this location. Solution restart before summary okay solution restart and don't forget you also need to change the schedule okay so you can play or you can do the forecasting using the user interface and of course you can also do the forecasting using the keywords using the files the scripts but talking about restart as I said before, if you use restart, you do not need to go back to calculate what happened starting from the original time up to the time you used restart. And it will save time. It will save much time. Okay. So I think that's all that I can say right now. I hope you get the points and I hope this learning is useful for all of us. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next T-Navigator videos. Thank you.